Hi everyone, my name is Leviathan and in today's video we're going to go through everything that you need to get started with speed running with Resident Evil 3. Uh, in the next few videos I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know as far as setting the game up, some uh, tips for the game, and everything that you would need to do to start speed running it yourself. Um, in today's video we're going to focus mostly on everything you need as far as prerequisites, things that you should have, every speedrunner should have, for when they start speedrunning. Um, today we're going to cover three pieces of software. The game itself, Live Split, and the SRT for Resident Evil 2. We're going to be focusing on the PC Taiwanese version of Resident Evil 3 because it is the one that I play and it's the one that I'm going to cover and I know the most about. So the first thing that we're going to cover is Live Split. Now if you don't know what Live Split is, I'll explain. Live Split is a program that you can download which I will put a link in the description for and as long as the, um, I will put links for everything else in the description um, for every piece of software or anything that you need. Now this is customized to how I have my splits. Now uh, what Live Split is is a piece of software that 90% I would say a lot of most people use for uh, keeping track of their times. It's a good way to see how well you're doing, how bad you're doing. Most people just use them. You can customize it. There's pretty much one for every game. Uh, some have auto splitters, but we'll get to that um, later on. So first thing that you need to download is Live Split. So Live Split, you can set up. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and just uh, exit this, and then it should actually work this way. Hold on a second. So we'll go ahead and close splits. So I'm going to also include the a copy of the splits for Resident Evil 3 for the uh, timing version because the way that it works is the auto splitter will split every single door and that way you can keep track of how slow you're doing or how fast you're going. Um, I'll include that as, law, as well as the auto scripter. Now if you want to, when you, when you first open this up, if you've never customized it, there won't be a background, it'll just be black. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go to open, open splits, and you go to from file. Um, you don't have to, I don't have to do that because I already know what mine is. So you would go to open splits, go from file mine. I are already it'll save where everything is at so you can do any percent the one I'm gonna send you though is gonna be called any percent clean so it's gonna have it's gonna be complete clean empty and everything that you need so you just open it up and boom it would pop it up and it'd be ready to go now as far as um, the auto splitter goes all you would have to do is right click go to edit layout and like I said you can if you've never used Life Split before, it might be useful to take to look at kind of a tutorial video on the ins and outs of it. But if you have any like a basic of how you know how to do it, um, I'll kind of skip all of that. So I have everything I need here: the title, my splits. It's all in a kind of like an order is how you see it on the screen is how it is. So you got your title. We have the splits. We've got the uh, the timer. We've got the previous segment, so that shows me that the previous split, how much up behind or far I'm ahead. My sum of best, so that is the bet all the sum the complete time of all of my bests. Actually, you know what, hold on one second. This actually isn't accurate. Give me one second. Oh, actually it is. So my best sum of best is 40-40. So that's like every best segment I had combined, and that's what you would get. Um as well as the scriptable auto scripter sound effects I have added and just total playtime. So when you want to actually add the scriptable auto script uh, auto splitter, you would just hit the add command, go to control and go to scriptable auto splitter and find the auto splitter, which I will also include. And then it's basically plug and play from that point. Oops, I accidentally moved this. Give me a second. Move that all the way back up to the top. But yeah, that's pretty much how um, life split is set up. Now let's talk about the game. I'll leave this open just so you guys can kind of see how everything is played out. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the game. Now the game, you, you can't find it on Steam. You're, you, it's an abandoned wear, but um, it's around. I will actually include a copy of it for you guys just because it, you can go ahead and do that. It's not an issue. So the game will come in a zipped file. Uh, you would unzip. I'm just going to move this over here. Um, 
and it's going to say RE3 Taiwan when you up, uh, when you unzip it. Don't worry. This is just a, f a folder I have for all my RE3 stuff. So when you open it up, you open up RE3 Taiwanese, and you don't. there's no installation needed for any of this. I know you see set up and start, but that's not needed. All you have to do is when you want to start the game is you want to double click on bio3 underscore pc dot exe. When you open it up, give it a minute. It does take a, uh, a moment to um, to open. So just give it a hot second. And now the game is open. Now I play windowed. You can you can adjust the window size, but most people just keep it in a window. Um, everything should work right out of the box. You shouldn't have to adjust anything as far as to getting the splitter to work. Um, as far as I know. Um, if you want to adjust controls or anything, I would suggest if you're speed running this, right click and go to open setup. You'll see that on the screen right here. Now on video, choose your video card mode. Keep it on windowed. Most people do 800 by 600. You can play around, maybe make it a bit bigger, but um, this is just what I keep it at. Um, audio, you can keep the audio. You can adjust you know, sound if you feel like doing that. Keyboard, this is where you will learn or you can set uh, your um, keyboard if you want to set it up with a keyboard. I run it with a keyboard, so I won't be covering game controller because it is slower to use a game controller in my experience. Um, I also show you show you in a future video how to set up uh, commands uh, for uh, what's called DIC, which is delay input cancel, and um, quick turning. And I'll explain that in a later video. Um, ETC. This is very important. Make sure that play movie and anything from here is all on tick because since we're speed running we don't want any of the fmvs playing because that's a time waste because in this game there is no stopping the timer nothing stops the timer from the moment you start to that it keeps going so you have to be very fast and with the fmvs playing it would just be a time waste so make sure there's that and you can just uh, you know mess with things but uh, those four things always make sure they're uh unticked so this is the game um as it is, I would recommend if you've never played the game before and you don't know what selections or what I would play it in English. Since the game is not in English, every single part of the uh, the text is going to be in a different language. So if you don't know what it is, you you know you may not know what the selection is. But I would recommend it if you know what it is by heart. Then I'll, uh, so be it. But I would try recommend playing a version and g at least knowing what it you know what you would select. All right, the last piece of um, software, which I also include a download for, is the EKG. Now, this is the SRT. This shows us important information. Go ahead and open it here. Now, this here is probably the most important thing out of everything. It shows your health, which you, by the way, you start at 200 health and you drop to caution at 100 health. So. You can only take, I would say, you know, up until that point, and being on caution is bad in this game. Um, this little blue window right here will show you what your currently equipped um, weapon is. So either handgun, uh, it's usually either the handgun, the knife, or the grenade launcher. There's no other weapons we uh, play in the speedruns, at least with any percent. Um, this right here shows the health of either Nemesis or the Gravedigger Worm, um, as you obviously start killing him it'll start to go down um, when you actually start the runs this is a timer it'll show you the in-game time and then you have a little reset button here you don't have to press the reset button what's great about this and what's great about life split is when you're in the middle of a run all you have to hit is f9 on your keyboard and it'll reset the game reset your splits take it back to the main menu and that way you don't have to hard close the game but uh yeah that is essentially the three things that you would have to get started for the game um, like I said previously everything will be included in the description below um, I'm sorry if uh, my wording for this is kind of I guess janky I just decided to do this on a whim for people that may uh, want to do it um, in a future video in the next video we're going to cover basically everything you need to know about uh, RNG different lines you would take for certain things uh, we'll, I'll show you guys how to set up the delay input cancel and how to set up, uh, set up a quick turn command for you guys but uh, yeah I hope you, this was uh, helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions leave a question in the comment below but uh and yeah I will see you guys uh, in the next video thanks for watching everybody